Once I travel somewhere, I want to take pictures and shoot videos, but I don't want to bring my bulky camera all the time. Well, it's great that you can shoot some amazing 4K footage with smartphones nowadays, but usually the videos come out shaky and wobbly even though most of the flagship phones have optical image stabilization. I've been using the Zhiyun Tech Smooth 2 smartphone gimbal for more than a month and I test it under all sorts of weather conditions. My name is Linus, stay tuned for the Techline HD review. The Smooth 2 comes in various kits and the prices vary from 240 to about 300 bucks. I will leave all the links down below in the video description. The standard kit comes with some instruction manuals, a charging cable, a balance weight and a smartphone camera protection foam ring. You can also purchase a kit with a Bluetooth remote controller, which works just great. Also, the same kit includes a nice and sturdy mini tripod that is made of metal and so far it has been working fine. There is also a Xiyun Tech Live Accessories kit that can be purchased separately. More on these accessories later on. The gimbal is made entirely of metal and it just screams quality. Everything is precisely assembled and it is really comfortable to hold in the hand. In fact, I dropped the gimbal like 3 times and it still works as new. Finally, the Smooth 2 is fairly light as it weighs just about 400 grams. If you want to start using it, you just have to slide your phone in, make sure it sits nice and tight, press the power button for a few seconds and you're good to go. The gimbal holds the phone in the landscape mode, which is the mode I use most of the time. If you want to use the phone vertically, for example for some live streaming services, the Xiyun Tech Live Accessories Kit comes to help. It comes in a really nice case that has everything you need like a smartphone clamp, different clamp weights for balancing and some tools. Installing it is very easy as you just have to unscrew a few screws and you're good to go. I found the gimbal to be working just as well in the portrait mode. Also, it is great that you can use all the parts of the phone at the same time. In fact, you can use this clamp in landscape mode too, which is awesome. There are a few control buttons on the gimbal that are clicky and tactile. The joystick allows you to switch from one mode to another. The default mode is called the pan following mode and I used it most of the time. If you press the mode button once, the gimbal will enter the locking mode which is great for smooth pan and tilt shots if you want to film a particular object. If you press the joystick twice, you will enter the pan and pitch following mode where the gimbal moves towards the direction you point the camera to. This mode works pretty well too, even if you move the gimbal quickly, you will get a smooth shot since all the axes move slowly. The last mode is the selfie mode and it is triggered by pressing the joystick button 3 times. This is actually a secret mode that is not mentioned in instruction manual but it works great too. You can also take a full manual control using the joystick to get that shot you want. You can use the gimbal either with your stock camera app or with the Xiyun camera app that connects the phone to the gimbal via the Bluetooth and allows you to take a full control using the buttons. You can take pictures or shoot videos with the shutter button, zoom in or zoom out if you press the multifunctional key gradually, change from photo and video modes or switch from the main camera to the front camera. You can also control the gimbal using the Bluetooth remote control which works just fine. However, the controller looks kind of plasticky in comparison to the nice and sturdy gimbal. I have to tell you that the footage looks just stunning. I was simply walking normally and I didn't try to hold my hand steadily at all but the footage still looks very smooth. Also, the gimbal is very responsive and even if you move it too quickly, you will still have smooth and slow panning or tilting motion. Here is a quick comparison how the 4K video from my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge looks like with the gimbal and without gimbal while I'm going up and down the stairs. Well, the difference is pretty obvious in my opinion. The gimbal started wobbling a little bit under very strong wind but these are the most extreme conditions and I think each gimbal will behave similarly. 
What I love is that the phone stays firmly in the gimbal no matter how hard you move it, so you won't end up breaking your phone. Also, the Smooth 2 is very silent since it uses brushless motors. The gimbal is not advertised as being weather sealed, but I used it in the rain, underneath huge waterfalls, or even the salty water of the Atlantic Ocean. Well, I don't recommend you doing the same, but my gimbal still works as new. The quarter inch screw mount allows you to attach the gimbal to all sorts of accessories like tripods. I use the gimbal with a few different mini tripods including the one you can find in the kit or my favorite Manfrotto pixie tripod. You can also use any tripod head plate and it works fine as a base. A 3400mAh replaceable battery allows you to use the gimbal for about 5 hours which is a decent result. One of my favorite features is that you can charge the battery using the micro USB port on the gimbal. In fact, you can charge it and use the gimbal at the same time. Charging from 0 to 100% takes about 2.5 hours. After using the Smooth 2 in various locations and under extreme weather conditions, I can tell you that I'm really impressed with it and it's been working absolutely fine. You can shoot some super smooth looking videos with it, there are plenty of shooting modes and I love that the device is made of metal and it just feels premium in the hand. My only complaint would be that Zhiyun didn't include any case in the standard packaging, so you would need to purchase it separately. All in all, the Zhiyun Tech Smooth 2 can be highly recommended as so far it didn't have any shortcomings, which is kind of rare in my product reviews. It was Linus, thanks for watching and as always guys, if you have any questions, please drop me a comment down below. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and if you like my videos. And please follow HD on social media, like on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. See you soon.